Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I am bringing you two new collections that came out, I think, one today and one last night. We'll go over the one that came out last night. Uh, first, it is the Mutt 15 Championship cards. Uh, these are the players, I think, that are playing in the Mutt 15 Championship. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, they had that Mutt 25 Championship where they had that playoff online, and then they flow them down to Tiburon uh, to the studios to play. Um... But there are eight collectibles, and for completing this, you get the 87 overall championship edition Cam Newton. We'll take a look at and see what the prices of these are on the auction, and then before coming back and looking at the other new card. In case you haven't been into your sets today or been looking really on Twitter or anything, you may not know that these collections came out. So let's go and look at the Cam Newton first, if one is up one is not up we are out of luck but there is right here but hold on let me type in cam so we can kind of narrow down the search here up a little bit see how much he is he is 100k this one is going to get bitted up a lot um it's at 70 but it's going to get bitted on well maybe not yeah there you go there's the bid but there it is the ultimate team uh championship uh cam newton pretty sweet card um yeah, pretty pretty decent card. Nice throw power at 97. He's ground and pound, gives plus 8 to ground and pound chemistry. And um, here, just to look at his stats, nice acceleration at 92. Great throw power, like I said, 97, 88 throw accuracy. Uh, 75 trucking, 96 ball carry vision. Uh, let's see here, nice juke and spin move. I don't think any of this matters. 95 stamina. Oh, here we go. Throw accuracies are pretty good. Throw deep is not that great throw on the run at 95 is amazing and 92 play action so this card's pretty good uh, i don't know how measurable it is to his 90 overall card but uh this one this 87 is pretty good and those collectibles i don't believe are all of that much we'll go and take a look they're elite you can probably do the collection for about 100k so you might as well do the collection over oh i have cam still in there do that. Yeah, they're about 10k. There's probably one. There's probably a couple expensive ones, as you can see. These are all Skater, Rose Bowl, and Little Harvin and Tweezy. So that Lexify or whatever it is, maybe an expensive one that someone put up cheap. Hot uh, Shugs. Uh, or Lex to see. Yeah, he's expensive. So whoever got that is pretty darn lucky. Yeah, he's 21. Uh, but some of these collectibles, uh, you can get pretty cheap. You can probably do this collection for like 80 or 90k, I would assume, maybe. Unless there's like a super expensive one. But 80 or 90k sounds about right in my head. Um, and then by the time you would sell it for 100k, you would gain no profit for selling it. What cards? Uh, Garrett Graham. So 750 coins, whatever. That's nothing. All right, the next thing is the first rising star. I don't really, I don't know. This is okay if you really want Mike Evans, but I don't have any desire to get Mike Evans. Um, I did have a bunch of Mike Evans, so I kind of wish I would have saved them for this to come out, but it's no big deal. I guess you get 1,000 coins for doing this. Uh, so if you really want Mike Evans or you have two laying around, uh, you may want to do this. Uh, he goes up by three overall if you complete it. You can get the doubled chemistries, which means he would probably... I don't know how many he gives right now. Hold on, let me see here. Oh, you have to get these specific ones, I think. Yeah, you gotta get the specific Mike Evans. Yeah, alright, so he turns into an 83, but still. Uh, so you could get 18 uh, short pass chem. Uh, so I'm guessing it's plus 9 to each. So you can get 18 uh, chem from him. Uh, which could help you complete those chem style challenges. Uh, you can get double of anyone you want. Uh, also, you can get uh, the combinations like last year's. Gosh, I can't even remember what they were called. Uh, futures, not futures. Um, what were they called? I oh, mean, I can't even remember. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. Uh, the uh, the. The, the, those collections that you put in two cards of chemistry and it gave you one with both that and it raised your overall by three. This is exactly the same thing. Just name something different to Rising Stars. So these cards are going to be uh, expensive. 
uh, depending on which which one you're trying to do and which chemistries and all that different stuff. I don't know what the most co po common chemistry is this year. Um, last year, I remember all the man and zone defense ones for defense works were the most expensive, and then uh, the the uh, pass rush and run stuff were the cheapest. But they are they're not always they're not that far apart when you look at it. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. But I just wanted to show you guys the two new collections. I'm not going to go over the price of all the. Uh, Mike Evans, and then go over the prices of all that, but um, he's an 83 overall. I played against one earlier today. He's not too bad, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Peace out, guys.